oh, Windows 11 is not perfect in terms of privacy. Heck, Microsoft itself doesn't even shy away from collecting your data for their own purposes. Why not prevent all of that with a VPN for Windows 11? Now in this video, I'm gonna show you the best VPN for Windows 11 and explain why they're all worth considering. Now, while choosing the top three VPNs for this video, I've paid attention to the following qualities. One, security. Oh, we're talking in-depth protection features here, such as ad blockers, kill switches, and specialized servers. Two, privacy. We all wanna stay anonymous online and keep our data safe, right? And VPNs with privacy-friendly jurisdictions and no log policies help with just that. Three, performance. We need to be looking for VPNs that can provide fast connection speeds, you know, to save us some time and well, perhaps our sanity. Four, high quality customer support, which, come on, it is a must to make it on this list, trust me. And finally, five, a great value. The best services come at a price. I mean, how else can they continue to stay in business, right? But that price should be more than fair and equitable. No low ball freebie trickery or price gouging here. In fact, you might find some special deals and trials in our comment section, hint, hint. And speaking of great values, well, I guess NordVPN is a great place to start in that case. I consider NordVPN a paragon of security. It has the future-proof XCHACHA20 encryption and a very effective kill switch, a feature used to prevent data leaks during any connection instabilities, by the way. Now, NordVPN security features on Windows are quite abundant. There are specialized servers for increased protection. The dark web monitor is on the lookout for leaks and my favorite, CyberSec, is a neat little top tier ad blocker that also detects and blocks malicious links. It's really nice to have and it works wonders just while browsing. NordVPN is actually the perfect way to boost Windows 11's privacy as well. This VPN service is based in the Panama jurisdiction away from international intelligence alliances and outside of any data retention laws. But even if there were any, NordVPN has, well, frankly, nothing to give because of their fabulous no logs policy. And since they've changed to RAM only servers, well, nobody can even steal data with a physical breach. And I respect NordVPN not just for the security and privacy elements, but also for their performance on Windows, which is really streamlined. For example, their proprietary tunneling protocol Nordlinks is based on WireGuard and is currently among the best performing protocols available on PC. NordVPN compares favorably against most VPNs of the same caliber. I mean, you could see for yourself, and this speed can be achieved on up to six devices at the same time. It's a godsend when a provider has reliable customer support and NordVPN support is available 24 seven with a live chat. And there are plenty of other self-help articles. So all things considered, NordVPN's value is way above average. The price is quite low even compared to the competition. Now, just add in some special deals like <clears throat> this one, <laughs> because we gather all the up-to-date discounts that we can, then put them again <clears throat> down there in the description for all your convenience. All right, let's talk about Surfshark for a minute. I mean, it is a reliable VPN for Windows 11 with respectable security standards, uses pretty much the same tech as NordVPN, high-grade encryption and a kill switch, but a few special features do vary. Surfshark's obfuscated no borders mode is perfect for folks in restrictive countries or environments. But also don't forget to check out CleanWeb, Surfshark's alternative to CyberSec, which also deals with all those annoying ads and malicious links. But my personal fave is Surfshark One, a suite of cybersecurity apps featuring everything from a secure search engine to a one of a kind antivirus. So far, Surfshark is the only provider that lets you get all cybersecurity apps you need in one package for Windows 11. And Surfshark's dedication to quality extends to privacy as well. It runs RAM-only servers to ensure customers' privacy and has a strong no-logs policy. Now, it's based in the Netherlands, so it does appear to be within the Nine Eyes Intelligence Alliance. However, this country's laws do not actually require Surfshark to retain any user data. And I personally tested Surfshark on Windows 11 for quite a while and even more on some other platforms. And in my experience, it provides a stable and fast connection, mostly because of a substantial server fleet and the wired guard protocol. The speeds are similar to NordVPN and they rival other competitors just as much. It's unlikely you're gonna have any problems with Surfshark, but I anticipate that future updates of Windows 11 may create some hindrances. So I've checked if their customer support is adequate. Glad to report that it follows standards almost to a T. 24 seven live chat, email support, self-help articles, boom. 
where Surfshark clearly one-ups NordVPN is in its value. Surfshark can be used on unlimited devices, which is already a great deal, but with the pricing it offers, well, Surfshark becomes an even better option, probably close to one of the best VPN for Windows 11 in terms of value. IPVanish, a rather niche VPN for PC, but Windows 11 users will be pleasantly surprised by its dedication to security. I've used it on Windows 11 since this OS came out, and IPVanish's security works quite nicely here. Integrating all the necessary security standards, mainly the ChaCha20 encryption and a kill switch. But I didn't find IP Vanish all that impressive in terms of extra features. I mean, I can't deny that what they do offer is reliable enough. You just won't find the unique features like you do with Nord or Surfshark. Sadly, I'm not super happy about their privacy policy. Despite the watertight no logs policy, this VPN is still based in the US, which, as you know, is far from being the most privacy friendly country. However, IPVanish diligently refuses to share any user data and has done nothing to make us doubt them. So I'm not making a big deal out of its jurisdiction at this point. Where IPVanish really excels is in performance on Windows 11. WireGuard doesn't let its speeds go lower than 80% from my baseline speed, and in some locations, it can even rival Surfshark. Unfortunately, IPVanish's customer support is a little below the usual standard. While the self-help section is really detailed and email support is decently responsive, there's no live 24-7 chat, and that is just a little bit disappointing. I mean, it's chat. Come on, guys. At least IP Vanish amends for all of these minor downsides by having very affordable pricing, especially considering the unlimited device deal. It's close to Surfshark's level of value. However, it doesn't have as many features or as responsive of customer support. But look, these VPN services are great, not only to keep you protected and anonymous online, but they also hide your traffic from your ISP and encrypt your data, which can be quite useful when using Windows 11, since this is a fresh OS that still has a long way to go before it's completely private. So if you're one of the millions who go online for your entertainment, uh -huh, well, then you're going to find VPNs very useful because they can unblock geoblock streaming content and provide support during torrenting. Seeing how most free VPNs don't have proper security practices, put in bandwidth limits, and don't even work against most geoblocks anyway, I cannot recommend using a free VPN on Windows 11 just yet. But a proper VPN will not set you back all that much anyway. And you can get high quality security software capable of providing you with additional streaming content and more. So if you're interested to learn more about cybersecurity, then you probably want to subscribe to our channel and let us know in the comments which VPN you use with Windows 11. We want to hear everything you got to say. Okay, that's all the time we have for today, and I'm going to catch you all in the next one.